Hi, in this short video I'm going to run you through the steps of installing FEM 2011. Now the first thing to notice when you download the managed zip file is that within the managed zip there is another installer. Okay, so um, you can import the managed solution just as you would normally by pointing to this file name and after you've done that open up the zip, the installer zip with inside and set up the web components okay we have a web component set up set the license conditions note that this will install the monitoring website keep alive service and email providers. Now this can be on a different server to the uh, the CRM um, but currently it uh, uses Active Directory um, authentication so it's necessary to set up some um, network credentials to communicate with the CRM web services. And in order to do that, you first of all have to point it towards the CRM server. In this case, it's W2K8R2CRM port 5555 and enter in some network credentials here. So this will work um, typically within the intranet and um, particularly I suppose on a DMZ server where you have um, this port opened between the DMZ server and the CRM SDK server. So right now the installer is checking connectivity from um, the installing server back to the CRM. So now it's retrieved a list, the discovery service has retrieved a list of organizations and we can pick one of those organizations as the preferred organization. This will set, be set up within the uh, web components um, web.config file, which means that um, this can be used as the uh, contact us um, organization. So we have now to set up um, the port number which we're going to use and also the host header. In this case um, I'm installing these web components on the same server as a CRM so the uh, the host header is the same. So now we're going through and checking the bindings is free on the local IIS and we're ready to install. And that's it. As quick as that. Thank you. What we should do now is test that the website is operational. And the easiest way to do that is to configure first of all to, or oh, connect first of all to the configure page. And this allows you to um, encrypt or decrypt the app settings within the web.config and you can see we can navigate directly there and you can see that they're currently not encrypted and furthermore we can also go to uh, another page to test um, And this is the contact us page and you can see that we've straight away got the form there we can fill in a dummy company
and submit.